Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. So I've finished off our steam power area. I added a few lights and finished off the walkway. So this is uh, looking good and we are doing fine on power. We're only using about 50% of our capacity. Uh, let's take a look at our map again and see how we're doing with biters. Uh, like I said, I would like to set up a radar station or two. Uh, so let's do that. Um, all right, so I've got turrets and ammo. I would like to put a turret or a, I guess a bunker around uh, the radar in case it gets attacked. Uh, radars are often prime targets for the biters. They uh, at least before the update, they seem to preferentially target radars and turrets. Uh, so let's put let's put one right here, and then I'll put a couple of turrets around it, and then I'll wall that in. Oh, okay. I don't have any walls. Let's go get some wall. I'll just grab two stacks. So now that we've got steel furnaces there, we're able to make the stone brick a lot faster, but we don't have enough stone coming in. So we might have to turn on that other mining area fairly soon. Okay, um, during the break, I got research finished on, what was it? Well, automobilism obviously is done. Uh, I also did solar panels and accumulators. Uh, so let's do let's do landmines. I'm not planning to use landmines at this point, but um, I want to get the research in case we decide to use them. Maybe I should use them. I never have. Okay, I'll take that out. Um, I'll put another turret there, actually. Okay, and then we need to put in a power pole. Uh, okay, we'll do laser turrets. I wonder if I can fit a large one in there. Nope. Okay. All right, so that'll give us some more visibility on that side of the base. And, uh, Maybe I should put one over there as well, where we have that other stone mining going on. I think that would be a good place for another radar. So we'll head over there. And I'm going to turn off the yellow ammunition production. Now that we can make the upgraded armor piercing rounds. I don't see any reason to continue making the yellow ones. Although the yellow ones are pretty cheap, maybe I should keep making them. I think I will. You know, for little for little things like this that I'm setting up, like little radar bunkers, uh, where I don't really care if it gets obliterated, maybe it's a good idea to use yellow ammo. They'll still be um, capable of putting up some defense and at the same time they're cheap to make. So uh, I'm just going to replace this with large power poles to clean things up a bit. 
Yeah, and really these, uh, you know, these small turret installations that I set up, really the main purpose is just to warn me that biters are coming, you know. Uh, not necessarily to put up any kind of huge defense. Let me go out one more. Okay. And then I'll set up the radar right here. Clear away a few trees. So I'll put in the radar, I'll put in a few turrets, and then I'll just uh, surround the whole thing with a stone wall. And then, like I said, if, you know, if, if biters attack it, uh, we'll get an alert, we'll see the attack. If they, you know, if they destroy some stuff, it's not really a big deal. three in a row up here in front otherwise that first one is going to be trying to do all the work and it may not be successful all right so I'll load those with 50 a piece and then we'll surround this whole thing with stone wall there okay so now we can see a much bigger portion of the map. The light colored square, in case you didn't know, um, always gives you vision. You can always see in real time what's going on in the light colored box. And I wanna say it's like 50 by 50, or maybe it's 25 by 25, I don't recall. Um, <clears throat> and then the area outside of that is only updated once every scan. And you can see that those boxes turn light when they get scanned. So that's how the radar works. So these will only get updated every once in a while. Not very often at all. I'm not sure how, I don't remember how long it takes to do a, a full scan of the area and start over, but it takes quite a while. Let's put a light in there as well. Okay. And I'm gonna leave that turned off for the time being. Oh, well, you know, one thing we can do is we can make power switches now. So one thing we can do to take advantage of that new bit of kit is to connect this with uh, a power switch. And that way we can just turn it on and off by using the power switch. And we connect it with copper cable, like that. And that way when we want to turn it on, we just click it on. And in fact, you could even set conditions on this. Um, you can connect it to a circuit network. And once we have a logistics network, we can set this up. We can connect it to the logistics network. We can monitor the amount of stone that we have in our system and we can program this to turn itself on and off depending on how much stone we have available, uh, which is a nice feature. That way we can be more conservative with our power consumption. So I think we'll, we'll get that set up eventually. But for now, we'll just have the switch there and when we want to turn it on, we just flick the switch. Okay. Um, so let me replace these power poles as well. I'd like to have large power poles form this main part of our electrical distribution network, if you will. So we'll clean that up here. Take a minute or two to do that. And then we'll start upgrading the belts on our uh, smelting area. that okay good all right so that's looking good uh, again I still don't see any biter bases uh, getting too close to us our pollution cloud of course is expanding so uh, before too long we'll have to go and take care of those guys I think it would be great if we had 
poison capsules and um, things like that before that occurs. So we'll probably need to start to focus on some more um, some more offensive items in the near future. Let's put my excess ore. Okay, so where should we begin? Uh, let's start with iron. And I'll start by upgrading the belt on the output, since we have a lot of furnaces here that are not able to uh, deposit their payload. my <clears throat> my tree collision mod that's the one that makes it so that the collision box or the hit box for trees are smaller so it's easier to walk through wooded areas without bumping into trees and getting stuck that's a nice mod but I didn't want to use mods in this playthrough because I wanted to Make sure we can get all the vanilla achievements. And so far I haven't gotten any, at least not in this playthrough. I, I have another game, a uh, personal game, if you will, that I've been playing. Um, and I've gotten a couple of achievements there, but nothing, nothing really significant yet. We can take a look at it. Uh, trigger an alien attack by pollution. Uh, research oil processing. I think we got that one in this game. Uh, produce 10,000 electronic circuits and produce 20,000 iron plates an hour. So that's what we've got so far. Um, I'm sure we'll start getting a lot more as we work through this playthrough. All right, let me grab some more belts. Looks like it's going to be a while before we get caught up on the belts because all of our gears are going towards uh, this other thing now. So have to be patient there. Uh, let's see. There we go. I'm going to craft a few myself. Because I think once we get up to this splitter and upgrade this line to red, then uh, hopefully we'll be able to produce those supplies at a higher speed. Once we're getting more iron fed in there. Uh, let's see. Here we are. Six. Okay, that's not going to last very long. Okay, well, that'll help. No, it won't help. <laughs> that's not going to help at all, actually. Let's uh, grab some of that iron so I can make some more of these. So while I make these uh, manually because of all the gears they require. So once I get this belt updated, then we'll have to go back and add more miners and upgrade the, the belts for the ore to red as well. Because right now um, with the steel furnaces and the red belts, they'll be able to empty out more quickly, but um, our next bottleneck is gonna be on the input side. We're not gonna have enough ore to get all 40 of those furnaces running 
all at the same time. So that'll be our next task once we get this done. And we're nearly there. Seems like I should put some more gear makers. So let's do that. Um, we can put an underground belt here. You can now put onto an underground belt. Oops. Okay. Well, let's put down a light. Okay. So that way we'll be able to get gears more quickly. Obviously, we'll also be consuming iron faster. Um, I don't think uh, in our starter base here, I, I don't imagine that we'll need to upgrade to blue belts. I think red will probably be sufficient to power the research and our supplies, but we'll see. We'll play it by ear. Speaking of research, uh, what should we do next? Gonna need to start thinking about oil here pretty soon. Uh, let's do gates. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. And actually I'll research stack inserters next. It looks like this might be a good candidate to have stack inserters. Uh, looks like two looks like two blue ones are sufficient. Okay, well that's coming along pretty well. Okay, uh, what was I gonna do next? Well, let's uh, clean up our inventory a little bit. I don't need to carry alien artifacts around. Um, my Pistol and burner mining drills and old obsolete stuff we can destroy outright. Uh, everything else it looks like has a current use, so that one we'll just get rid of. Okay, and everything else I think we're good with. Looks like this patch of stone has mined out. That patch of stone is mined out. Um, let's see if I can take advantage of this area here. So I can I can get I can get some there without picking up the iron. Yeah, and that's, the stone is going to be gone pretty soon. So we will have to turn on that other stone mining area fairly soon. Okay, so let's look at iron ore and how we're doing on that. Yeah, so we can clearly see that we are not providing nearly enough ore to keep all those furnaces running. Okay, let's do stack inserters next. I'm not really in a hurry to get to Blue Science yet because we've got plenty of research available that we can do with um, with red and green still. All right, so let's, um, that one's mined out. Let's upgrade all this to red. I'm going to change my toolbar here. I'll put turrets and ammo over there. Okay, and then down here I'm going to have the same 
arrangement as I have up top, except with the red logistics, and that way I can just switch my my hot bar like that. Okay, so let's upgrade this to red. Um, we don't really need to upgrade all of it. You know, we could start halfway down the line, but um, I'll just upgrade the whole the whole deal. Oops, there we go. All right, let's go grab some more red belt. And I think I'm gonna increase the limit on this box. I'll make it 500. And then probably what I'll do after that is I'll get rid of the yellow belt on my hot bar and we'll just start doing everything with red belt. Looks like we might be able to Add some more labs over there. Okay, so we were starting to upgrade this one. It ran out. Okay, we can add a few more miners up here. That should hopefully replace the ones that uh, mined themselves out. Okay, now which one of these? I think this one on the top is the one that goes to the iron. So I want to upgrade that one first. We're not using a whole lot of steel yet. Although once we start making train tracks, uh, that's going to change. And we'll start using a lot of steel pretty fast, and stone as well. Okay, let's go grab some more belt. And uh, hopefully we can get that iron line updated before we're done with our episode. Let's take a look at the map again real quick, see if our radars revealed anything we need to be worried about. Don't see anything so far. Okay, so we got stack inserters done. Um, let's do electric engines next. Rocketry, rocket launcher. Rocket launchers might be good to have. Um, let's do lab speed. Seems like if we do as much lab upgrades as we can at the beginning of the game, that, you know, like the earlier that we get a speed advantage on the labs, the more that that is going to pay off as we go through the rest of the game. Let me I'll put some of our excess uh, yellow belt in here. And actually, I'll reduce the limit on that chest. I don't need 500 yellow belts anymore, since I'm going to start switching over to red exclusively. And what is my bottleneck here? It's on the gears, right? But it seems like I'm really making gears as fast as my iron will allow at the moment, so... Let's get some more iron flowing through here, and then once I've got enough iron being produced, then we can increase our gear production. Might need to set something up in another area and just have a full red belt of gears. Okay, so let's finish up here. Whoops.
Hopefully I've got enough belt to finish this. I think I do. There we go. So that is fully red. And uh, now we can see that we're just not getting enough ore coming out. So let us play some more drills. Let me check my power situation first. Okay, looks like we can handle more mining drills. So I will add another row. Um, I'm going to continue to use some, um, how do I want to say it, wooden power poles here. Okay, let's go grab more mining drills. Fortunately, we had the foresight to automate their production as well. And you know, I'm I'm feeling a little paranoid. It's been it's been very quiet. <laughs> We haven't heard much from our alien buddies. Ah. <laughs> I guess I spoke too soon. All right, let's go see what's going on here. Please don't be tons of them. Okay. I think we can handle that. All right. So, shots have been fired. I was just starting to say I'm getting a little paranoid because we haven't uh, had any attacks and I'm kind of afraid that we're just going to get like this massive attack and be completely unprepared for it. All right. So where did that attack come from? Uh, looks like it came from over here. And... Yeah, our bunker is set up way over there. So um, let's go put up a bunker. Over here. And then I think in our next episode, we're going to have to go and clear some nests. this in like we did with the other ones. Again, and I leave one space um, and that is because some of the larger biters can can actually attack over a wall. So by having um, so by having a space there, um, even if they get up against the wall, they won't be able to hit the turrets. Okay, ran out of stone there. Let's see. All right, that should be fine. Okay, so hopefully that will prevent another attack like that for now. Uh, but we'll certainly need to prepare ourselves. And like I said, I, I think we'll need to start clearing out some bases here pretty soon. We haven't done that in a while and we don't want those guys getting huge bases established that become very difficult to deal with. All right, so uh, let me finish this off. And then as I said, in the next episode, I think we'll go and clear out some biter bases. For now, we'll get this, uh, get our iron ore situation squared away. Clear out some of these lovely trees as we love to do.
bring that over. <clears throat> um, now let me see here. A red belt can handle a lot of drills. Uh, I want to say it's like 40. So I may be able to just combine those two belts into one. Um, but in any case, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a 4 into 4 belt balancer. Looks like we lost all of our power here. Alright, so I'm going to set up a large pole to feed this area. to. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so let's set up a 4 into 4 balancer. And we go maximum length minus 1 on these. Okay, we got modules. Um, let's see, we can do some more damage upgrades. We can do electric engines. Let's do that. So we're only using two of the outputs right now, but that is perfectly fine. Uh, they should both be receiving the same amount of material. Okay, and let's see how we're doing up here. Well, we're momentarily short, but... Uh, oh, we got attacked again down there. I wonder how they got... They must be coming in through the middle there. Oops. To set up another bunker. <clears throat> I think they must be coming in here, not here, as I suspected. I guess that makes sense. That's why they're going straight for that. So, uh, but that's no problem. We can set up another one over here. Let me just uh, line this up. Uh, I'll load these with armor piercing. Okay, um, let's do advanced electronics. Okay, and I'll grab some more wall. stacks this time. I ran through that last pickup faster than I expected. Uh, that one's about mined out. Gonna need to add some more power soon. Okay. And again, I'm just leaving that little hole in the back um, and I, I haven't tested that hypothesis that says that that uh, prevents the biters from attacking the walls uh, it's just what I heard I haven't tested it myself so it'll be interesting to see if that really does the trick okay well I think 
I think that should secure this area from anything coming from our west. But, uh, you know, obviously we'll need to clean that up. And there's such little space here that I think once we take out these bases, um, we could probably even just run walls all the way over to the water and uh, just wall in this whole side of the base so that we don't have to worry about it. Um, <clears throat> in fact, we could even put some walls and turrets here to prevent anything from running across. So we should be able to secure this area fairly easily on that side. It's the north and the south that I'm more concerned with right now. So, uh, in any case, uh, ran a little bit long on this episode. Hopefully you're still watching. Uh, if you are, thank you. And, uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.